Hey guys, Robbie here. Just a quick video to walk you through this on-page SEO automated template that we've put together for you. Now, as you know, uh, on-page SEO is extremely important when it comes to increasing your rankings and improving the user experience on your website. But when it comes to trying to scale this across hundreds or maybe thousands of pages on your website, it can be extremely tedious and time consuming, especially when you're looking at like multiple elements like title tags, heading tags, meta descriptions, URL structure, multimedia use. Looking at all of these different elements across hundreds or thousands of pages can be an absolute headache. So one of the things that we decided to do for you is I teamed up with a guy by the name of Josh Hardwick from the SEO project. His link is in the blog post. And we put together this nifty little on-page SEO template for you guys. It allows you to automate a lot of the most tedious and uh, boring stuff when it comes to on-page SEO. Now, I'll just show you real quickly what this looks like. This is one that I've already built out. There's a few different tabs in here. In this video, we're going to walk through each one of them. But essentially, at the end of the video, um, what you'll be able to do is map your target keywords or topics to all of the pages on your site. And then once you've done that, you can get a real quick view across all the pages on your site of how your keyword or topic placement is performing on some of those important, across those important places on your website. Uh, so you can look through the heading tags, title tag placement, meta descriptions, looking at length, uh, URL checks, uh, media checks, you know, is the content too thin? And then uh, we'll also get this checked too, but uh, HTTPS status, mobile friendly, uh, is content been at, be able to be indexed? And this just saves you an absolute ton of time because it's all color coded so you can really quickly get a visual look at you know where the keywords or topics are not being targeted in some of these critical on-page locations. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So I've created a, a new version of it here, just a clean one so we can walk through it. But this is the first tab that you're going to hit. It's the start here section. Uh, it has a bunch of questions, but when you drop down here into the first step, all you'll need to do, oh, let's just start right now. So we'll come over, if it were for my site, you just grab your domain and then come back in here and just enter it in and click enter. And you'll see here that the template will start uh, working in the background, scanning your website. So I'll just pause it while it's doing that. All right, cool. So once you wait, you know, 10 or 15 seconds for it to scan your website, it'll show green and that means, you know, you're good to go. So we'll move on to the next step now. And this is where we want to paste in all of the sitemap URLs uh, for your website. So, you know, if you're using something like WordPress, you can just come up and usually it's going to be, you know, like forward slash sitemap dot xml or sitemap index uh, specifically for blogs um, or pages you know you can look at whichever ones you want grab the urls uh, of whatever makes sense that you're wanting to scan so you know you could have your post product page sitemaps you can just you can dump multiple ones into uh, into this template so for my site i am going to look specifically at my sitemap posts so i'll just copy that url and then i'll head back over into our template here and again I'll just paste it in and then you'll see up here that it'll start running. So I'll just pause once again. Actually, once you enter it in there too, it'll start running. You actually want to click this fetch sitemaps button. And uh, what that'll do is it'll it'll speed it up and run it through. And then once it's finished running is you'll see here the page count or in this case, my post count for my, for my blog. And now that's green. So now we've got all the sitemap URLs mapped in there. Uh, if we click over to the URLs tab now, we should be able to click the get URLs function and then this script will run as well. And then boom, it'll populate all of the post URLs into this tab. So that step's complete. We'll move on to step three. And this here is where we'll want to import our keywords from SEMrush. Now, SEMrush is a paid tool, but you can create a, uh, get a seven day free trial or a 30 day free trial. I've included a link below the video uh, and in the post um, if you just wanted to get a trial so that you could try this out um, without paying any money. So um, I'm going to come over to SEMrush here and you can see I've got RobbieRichards.com. I just click search in the domain overview here and then I'll come down to the organic research tab and it'll take me to the keyword positions report. And then we can drop down and we'll see that I have, you know, a little over 3,300 keywords and I'm ranking in the top 
uh, 100 search results for. So I'm going to export all of these keywords. And then we'll just open up this file really quickly. Yes. All right, so here's all the data that we've we've got here. Now the next step is we we'll, we'll just want to save this as a CSV file. So I'll just come back up here and so I'll just save it in my resized folder here. Yeah, again CSV file. I'll just call it uh, SEMrush export. So we'll just save that and then we'll come back into our, uh, our template here. And you can see here there's step-by-step -step instructions um, to go through the whole process here. So now we'll come back into this SEMrush import tab. Now the important thing here is you want to click in cell B4 because you're going to also be pasting in uh, the heading titles as well from that SEMrush export. So once you click on cell B4, come up to file, import and then go to upload and then find the folder where you just saved um, your SEMrush export. So here's mine. So I'll just open this up now and I'll just wait for this to, to load really quickly. And then the important piece here, click this button here. It says replace data starting at selected cell. Click import and then let that run for a few seconds. And what this will do is the template will then pull in all of the keyword data from SEMrush and then there it goes and the cool thing about this is now that not only has it ranked, pulled in the keywords and position but it's got the volume and all of the URLs that um, that are triggering these keyword rankings okay so once that's finished running head back over to the first tab start here and you should see that yet yeah, SEMrush data import yes and it's green so that steps now complete as well so we'll move on to step four here. Now this is where we're going to import site data from a tool called URL Profiler. Again, you can grab a 14 day free trial uh, below this video. Uh, this is a tool I've been using a lot more lately, especially when it comes to performing content audits for large websites. It allows you to pull in and map data from a bunch of different sources um, to specific URLs where you can do some really cool analysis. But anyway, for this case, um, yeah, so grab, a tr grab that free trial for URL profiler. And then what we will do is we'll come into the URLs tab here that we got from our sitemap fetch. And we'll just copy all these URLs. And then when you come into the URL profiler here, I have some other pre-configured settings in here for some other projects I'm doing, but what you'll need to do is just simply paste in the URLs from your clipboard, and then you wanna configure this custom scraper to these settings right here. And I've included a link to um, uh, an image in, in this template uh, that shows you this. So you just put the CSS selectors to these settings, hit apply, and then you'll simply just hit run profiler. And, what, and then you'll also want to choose, you know, wherever you want to save this document. So um, just find a folder on your website and save it. So we'll click save there. And then what this will do is it'll start running through all of your URLs and mapping back uh, different data points. So I'll just let that run for a second. Okay, so yeah, then it'll finish running and then just click open file. And then this is what it'll look like. There's a ton of data in here. As you can see, scrolling across uh, loads and loads and loads of data pulled from a bunch of different sources, mapped back to each individual uh, post URL. Now, what we'll want to do with this is we want to uh, copy everything from this spreadsheet. So um, just come in here and copy all of the data from the URL profile export, and then we'll head back in and we'll look down here. So in step four, it says that we'll need to go into the number two URL, URL profile import tab and make a note here that you want to copy all the data, including the column headers. So we'll just come over to that cell and it's cell C6 and then paste in uh, the data from URL profiler. And you'll see here that right away, it'll populate all the URLs and then in the background, our template will start running 
through all of that data and analyzing it. And then once that runs through, you'll have all of your pages and posts dumped into this tab. And the final step, uh, as we come down, we can see that all the URL profiler data has been imported. Now, the final step in this is going over and mapping our target keywords or topics to each individual uh, page or post on our website. So come over to the keyword mapping tab here and you'll see this is what it'll look like. Now you can see going through here, I've got all of my URLs, um, target keywords. Now what this is, these are the keywords that were pulled from SEMrush and uh, by default, it'll show the keywords with the highest, that this post is ranking for that have the highest volume. Now scrolling through this, I can see that some of these keywords aren't relevant. They aren't actually the target keyword. So this is where you really need to come through and start um, you know, selecting the target keywords for each page. So there's a little bit of manual work here, but as we'll see in the next tab, it all pays off and makes the rest of the entire on-page optimization process much, much faster. Now, a couple more quick things in this tab. I'm not gonna go through all of them uh, just for time's sake, but um, I'll just tell you a couple quick important pieces about this tab and then show you what the output looks like and then what the finished product looks like. So yeah, you can see here that there's all these keywords, right? So let's just say I look at my first post, recovery Google. Uh, yeah, so I like that as, a, as a, a seed topic or keyword for that post. So I'll just click yes, confirm, and then it'll turn green. Now, if I come down here to the next one, Moz Open Site Explorer for my competitor backlink analysis post is not the best keyword fit. So all you need to do is just click the next or previous uh, tab here, and it'll start scrolling through each of the keywords that uh, the post has noticed or pulled from SEMrush. So each of the different keywords. So you can just click through here, and you can and you can quickly just start you know, scrolling through the keywords until you find one that you think is the best fit. Now I'll keep scrolling through here, like cognitive SEO probably isn't the best one. Find backlinks, that's okay, but probably not the best fit. Backlink data, again, not the same. Backlink analysis, yes, that's a good topic, topical keyword that I would like to target with this post. And again, link building strategies, yes, that is a great keyword for that particular post. Um, so you can see here, it's a pretty quick process. Uh, promotion strategy is okay for this post, but I want something a little bit more specific. Uh, promotional strategies, again, is a little bit broad. Uh, content promotion, so this is a good topic keyword. Now, it doesn't have to be an exact match keyword as we discuss in the blog post, but it can also be like topical keyword focus. Now, I'll just continue this process all the way through um, each post and page in the template. Um, all the ones that are yellow, they'll pull keywords, uh, but there might be some red ones in here. Uh, this is where you'll need to do the manual override. So what this is, let's just say you come down to the next post and you're clicking through next keywords and nothing is resonating that has decent volume. So I can come in here and I can set a manual keyword override. So list building tools would be a great keyword for this particular post. So I'll set that and then I'll click yes. And then it'll run through and you'll notice that it'll override the keywords that the template is recommending based off of the SEMrush import. Uh, so same thing here. So you can do that for anywhere you're not finding a good keyword or topical um, target with decent volume. And then again, just move through and uh, do that for each page or post. And then once you've done that, you, oh, and one other thing too is let's just say you've scrolled through a bunch of words. You found one that was a decent fit before, but you wanted to keep looking. Um, you can either go previous or you can just reset. And what this will do is it'll reset this uh, keyword recommendation or target keyword here all the way back to the start um, when you initially started looking through the keywords for that post. So that can save you a bit of time rather than jumping back and forth between keywords. All right, so once that step is complete, you move into the done column here. And now what this is going to show is whether or not, you know, the keywords are mapped back to the pages as well as a bunch of other interesting uh, pieces that will give you immediate insight into what on-page elements need to be optimized. So if I look through, I've only got four in here right now, but if we wanna look at a finished product, you can see here, once I went through all of the pages, I was able to, 
you know, quickly fill it out. And just by looking at the different color coding, I can quickly see where I need to make improvements. Um, so coming back to our working example here, you know, I don't have HTTPS set up on my site right now. Shame on me. I will be doing that in the very near future. Is my page mobile friendly? Obviously, this is very important. And then we start looking at some key areas like H1 tags. Um, you know, do you have an H1 tag? Is it a duplicate? Is the keyword or topic in that H1 tag? Does it start with that keyword or topic? Um, similar for uh, your title tags, are they too long, too short? Does it contain the keyword in the beginning? Are there actual title modifiers being used effectively? So, you know, maybe instead of keyword research tools, it's best keyword research tools, anything like that that can maybe sim symbolize a little bit more intent. Again, meta description, similar analysis. Then we come over and we've got URL check. So is it considered SEO friendly? Again, this is data that's pulled back from URL profiler to map it against the keywords and things that were pulled from SEMrush. So now does the URL contain the keyword? Is it too short? Are sub subfolders being used? If you have too many subfolders, sometimes that can increase your you know, click depth, which isn't great. Um, media checks, are videos being used? Um, are there images without alt text? And then finally, uh, this one here is the content, uh, not 100% reliable. So is there thin content on, on the website? Now you'll see I've got some massive keyword counts here and that's because some of these posts have hundreds of comments on them. Uh, so that's really, really jacked that up. So that's a real brief overview of everything. But the, the takeaway is by looking at this, you can really quickly see uh, anything that's red or yellow for specific pages, you can quickly identify where you might need to make some on-page optimizations. And it just makes the whole analysis across hundreds or thousands of pages that much faster rather than clicking into each individual page and looking at your target keyword and trying to figure out if it's in the right spots. So handy little template. I hope it's useful for you guys. This is what it's going to look like at the end. There are step-by-step -step instructions in the beginning. And one thing that I just remembered is when you're coming into the URL profiler setup and you need to do this mobile friendly piece, what it's going to do is it's gonna ask you to get an API key. Now don't let this worry, it only takes a couple seconds, but what you essentially need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions that they provide to you when you check this box. Uh, it takes like 30 seconds or a minute to set up, but that will allow you to pull in that data that is needed to access um, you know, that mobile friendly page assessment. And the other part too is you'll notice back in the template here that in the very beginning where it's got the no index, it's got an error. And that was because as I was trying to go through this tutorial quickly, I forgot to check uh, the robot access on the URL level data. So just make sure that's checked as well. And then it'll analyze all of these pages for you to determine whether or not you need, you have uh, maybe unintentionally blocked some content that should not be from you know Google accessing it. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you find this template super helpful. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, until next video, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.